So let's see what's coming your way, Pisces. We do have the Nine of Cups and the Eight of Swords. We are bound to someone's happiness or some our happiness depends on um, the other person's happiness or them wanting to be with us, right? I'm Nine of Cups and the Sun. Might be a Leo we are dealing with. And then might be a Leo who makes us happy. I know. We have that gift, Leos, right? So they make us happy. And wish fulfillment. And true. And standing in our light. Definitely a fire sign. If it's not a Leo, it's a fire sign making you happy. Queen of uh, Wands with a Nine of Cups. Right? What we want is the fire. We want the fire. I know. Who doesn't? We all do. Nine of Cups with a Four of Swords. Might be a breakup. Might be a situation here where we are not uh, talking to each other. It's like ghosting and yet we... We want to have them. They make us happy. We make them happy. Nine of Cups and the Fool. I know. A leap of faith. Starting new. A clean slate. Right? Can we have a second chance at this? A second shot. A kind of foolish uh, second chances. Right? Nine of Wands. Nine of Cups. I know. Somebody's blocking the happiness. But it's almost over. I mean nine and nine. Right? We only have the ten missing and then we're done. Now let's look into the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. Let's see what is the main energy between you and your person. That energy yours. Page of Cups. Seven of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. I love this. That's a Four of Pentacles, but we already know we are holding on to someone, to somebody. But things... Um, October is the month of change, right? End of October, Pisces, we do have the Wheel of Fortune. Energies will move in all directions here. Um, and I would say in the good direction, Page of Cups, that, that can be you. But I kind of feel that this is about emotions uh, still running um, between you and your person. Maybe a sense of pride, you know, but things will change uh, soon. That's a will of fortune, right? The universe saying I'm in charge, no matter what, I'm the boss. But let's see, let's see. So past energies on your side, Pisces, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Now let's have current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Wands. Yeah, I know. Almost over. Almost over. Well, of Fortune is all about things turning in your favor. It's all about going with the flow. The universe making things um, appear or disappear for you. Whatever you wish. And the Six of Wands, it has a sense of victory, right? Like victorious changes. Like something that finally it's here. And I am happy how things turned out. Right? That's the energy here. So let's see in the past Pisces, we do have the Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. So, oh my God, what a pain, right? And we've been so patient about, we've been so patient and so kind and so grounded. And we uh, took one day at a time, right? That's the Seven of Pentacles. It's the energy where we don't do much, but it has a, we gather strength, right? Because we know it's coming and harvest time is coming. That's a seven of pentacles. And I feel that you stood quite patient, quite grounded. I don't know why I hear respectful. Uh, that it has a sense of respect in this. And because we respected whatever, you know, was in place, I kind of feel things are changing. That's the main energy I'm picking up. But boy, it was a hustle, right? And it has a lot of betrayal and pain and disappointment. Uh, now this person of yours, um, Pisces, if you ask them, well, your energy was all over them. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio can also be another water sign. And Two of Pentacles. They were juggling. They were struggling. Um, it has an energy of out of balance. Um, but I don't know if it's more because it feels like an emotional struggle. Like somebody might have had like emotions all over the place, up and down kind of. That's a Two of Pentacles. But they tried. I mean, if you ask them in their own way, they try to maintain balance. They try to 
to maintain things afloat. That's the Two of Pentacles uh, doing the work and um, even taking extra responsibility, right? To make sure the situation is um, in balance when it comes to you because you show up here as the Queen of Cups. So they struggled, they did their best. Mutual energies between the two of you, Four of Cups and the Page of Swords. Um, so we got bored a little bit, bored and discontent. Somebody got bored, got discontent and communication and probably communicated to the other person, right? Um, and I kind of feel Pisces that uh, they were again juggling and struggling and that's when you got hurt in a process like, but I thought we had something good, right? And then Four of Cups, they were not paying attention, right? They were not seeing the, the important thing that is, you know, because we can get bored every day, but then what do we do with it? Um, and I kind of feel that, um, you know, that boredom and discontent was communicated and we got hurt and this person actually was trying to have some solid ground on the, under their feet, right? Um... Pisces, where are we right now? We do have the Four of Pentacles. So kind of like the universe saying, you still hold on to them. And the Nine of Pentacles. How about a bit of independence, right? We might be single at this time. I might be picking up the energy of a Pisces who's single and really struggling to disconnect from somebody that we were so patient with. We gave our time, our resources. We have a lot of Pentacles over here, by the way. So probably you shared resources and you were the stable one in this commitment or you offered um, a tremendous amount of stability, work and also financial security with the Nine of Pentacles, right? This is the energy of financial independence. So we are good at this time. It's not that we are not and we are grounded. I still love, right? Um, in a sense that kind of a shift in Pentacles energy, which is good. This is everyday life. This is I'm not going to think, uh, you know, in 10 years, I'm really going to make sure that every day I'm all right. Now, this person of yours, they do have the chariot, um, cancer energy and the sun. Two major arcanas and it, it has an energy of moving on. It has an energy of enlightenment. It has the energy of the minute they moved away, some enlightenment came to them. Uh, some sense of truth, authenticity, some say, some sense of awakening. So they are on a path over here. They are on a journey. Um, I would say a victorious one, but it's also too quick to um, kind of, um, you know, um, draw a conclusion here. But it's, it's a beautiful energy they are in at this time. Um, you know, moving away shifted their energies in... Um, in a more spiritual way, we know the sun is all about the truth. Can also be for some of you, Leo, a Leo Cancer you are dealing with. Now, mutual energies between the two of you at this time: Queen of Swords, um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and the Ace of Pentacles. Probably you are cold. This is the actual energy, right? We are too cold to make an offer. Ace of Pentacles, both wanting a new beginning. Um, and the energy between the two of you, maybe communication might be good, but that's about it. Good and cold in that sense. Or maybe simply not ac accepting no uh, nonsense from this person. And they actually feel the same. It has an energy of breaking free with the, with the chariot energy on their side. And uh, a sense of enlightenment because they did so, you know. And the Queen of Swords kind of, it's there. I don't feel it's an air sign. It can be. Um, and maybe somebody got an offer from an air sign for some of you because of the Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, but I mainly feel this is the energy of coldness and communication only the bare minimum, right? And uh, focusing more on that new beginning. So the outcome of this all, High Priestess and the Nine of Cups, right? Um, you know, it's the energy of... <clears throat> It's the energy of making peace with the silence. Uh, we know high priestesses in action is the best course of action. And it's paired with the nine of cups, right? How about we do nothing? And we try to see the wisdom in it and stay, um, stay in peace in your own energy, right? Because we have cups. Um, and high priestesses, Pisces, Cancer, it's your energy too. And I feel that, you know what? Um, they don't need to talk to us, right? We'll continue. Uh, we'll keep going anyways, right? That's energy. 
Um, and I also feel that we move back into a place of emotional balance, into a place of um, happy changes. You do have wish fulfillment and you have the, um, the will of fortune, which is the energy of changes in itself. Uh, big fundamental changes now, right? The universe shifting for you, uh, your whole um, your whole energy. And, I, and it is for you and it is good. Now this person of yours, Four of Swords and the Three of Cups, they are contemplating a reunion with you over here. Four of Swords is a lot of thinking. And it has, they have right now a lot of enlightenment, right? Moving away gave them a sense of understanding, a sense of deep philosophy and wisdom, a sense of enlightenment, a sense of knowing what they want to do. And the outcome of this for them is contemplating a reunion with you. And they move in the energy of water, which is your energy. Um, Pisces mutual energy is between the two of you, eight of cups and seven of pentacles. This is the energy of holding their horses. Whoever, wh whoever walked away in this energy, they are actually slowing down, right? And looking back. Um, and it's a lot of thinking of... I want my reconciliation, but still, I am a little bit still sitting on my butt, not doing much about, you know, on my booty, I want to say, but it's kind of, anyways, but you get my point, right? They are contemplating this, and it comes, it's it's beautiful because it comes under the sun, um, so we took that enlightenment, that enlightenment really happened, seeing the truth of a situation also, uh, once they moved away, or once you moved away, um, Pisces. It has this reading, the energy of uh, as we become cold, right, and disconnected, somebody starts to think, well, maybe, you know, maybe I want my Pisces back, actually. Now, let's see what the universe says. Uh, but absolutely happy changes. Whatever is happening right now, Wheel of Fortune, if the situation is down, is bringing it up. If it's up, it's going to be brought down, but for your happy um, outcome. Now let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need to do. Should we say yay, nay? Um, so Pisces, back to what you love. Reevaluate your desires. So somebody here needs to really think about. It's kind of like the universe saying, I am going to shift the energy, but you still need to look into it and reevaluate. Well, there is something about intimacy and love that you need to look into. For some of you, might be um you know um actually um the physical connection the physical touch might be a problem and that's why we need to reevaluate we do have creativity and intimacy somebody really needs to bring some spice into the bedroom when it comes to uh, to love and intimacy we need to be creative about um right look into some help for some of you that's the creativity part and also self protection the gardener right while we focus on intimacy and love how about we also practice nurturing your inner kid the energies uh, within you when it comes to love and your self-love and self-esteem bottom of the deck the only thing that is real is love Pisces shift your focus back to love so you have reevaluate your desires and shift your focus back to love I feel that, um, you know, we have reevaluate and yet look back. So I kind of feel that uh, Pisces, you are guided towards this person. But, but there are a couple of homework uh, pieces that we need to do. Intimacy and creativity and also self-protection. So now let's look into the energies we need to put back into the flow. And we do have surrender. I release my need to control. So whatever you're about to control, whatever you think you're about to do or endeavor you gave yourself, we have to abandon it. We just allow the will of fortune, right? Uh, the wills of the universe to bring things uh, back to you. We do have trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. So we have to trust the universe on this one. Surrender and trust. It's such a beautiful message. And creativity comes with abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. So creativity and abundance, it's kind of one and the same energy. 
so somebody here it's the empress energy right so somebody here really needs to come from that place of abundance of having enough of being creative and um, keeping the resources going right and we have surrender to your intuition you have i accept my inner voice and now we have surrender to your intuition so tune in to your inner voice um pisces you'll you'll hear the truth right be aware of any gut feelings flashes knowings or um aha moments that come through to guide you your intuition is right on this one pisces and you do have present so we need to move back into the present moment right and this is how you do it by saying to yourself i live in the moment and i am able to bring forth the energy of love in my current circumstances yes we live in the present and we reevaluate and we are creative about our intimacy and intimate life now let's ask for some general guidance it doesn't have to be connected to this person of yours but it can be so let's see Pisces and we know Pisces is clairvoyant so you are profoundly clairvoyant trust what you see in your mind's eyes as well as with your physical sight for your spiritual vision helps you with healing teaching and guidance so Pisces you are clairvoyant and you know it right crystal clear intentions be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith so it's all about manifesting yeah what you see is right and yes you have to manifest crystal clear clear intention um bottom of the deck ancestor spirit connect to your lineage pisces a family wound or patterns can be healed now so something to look into um so pisces this is all that i have for you guys you know i love you i wish you nothing but the best i want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.